Ja, Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for coming here today and joining us. I'm going to talk about studying in Germany. And uh, I hope that my briefing would be good enough for you guys there. Two years ago, I've been sitting exactly where you guys are sitting right now. So I probably know how you feel. And I know what your most fears are. So don't panic. And I hope I'm going to help you out in my experience. Who am I? My name is Musa Munda Lutfi. I'm an undergraduate student, fifth year student actually. Water and environmental engineering is my major. My first city in Germany was Berlin, as I have had the chance to do an intensive language course that was fully supported by that. I have actually uh, had a lot of fun, although it was intensive. For you probably who are going to Berlin, you will actually enjoy the low prices there and the cheap accommodation. And don't you forget to try out the Berliner. It's really tasty actually. My first university in Germany was the Freie Universität Berlin, FUBIS. As you can see, um, this is the library. It has actually a very pretty design as well. Aachen. As you can see on the map, it's on the east, on the last west here, it's next to Bonn. It's a very beautiful city. I've done my exchange semester there. Aachen has about a quarter million living there. Um, it's actually a small village which uh, has a lot of specialities in it, uh, such as if you talk about the geographic information, uh, it, has, uh, it has actually the three country border, which is Aachen, uh, Germany, I mean, with uh, the Netherlands and uh, Belgium, which adds actually a unique touristic flavor to it. The uh, RVT Aachen, as Dr. Anna Laham actually studied there, it was one of the best universities in Germany, in addition to the FH Aachen. This was my uh, university. So uh, universities in Germany are a bit different. Uh, the buildings actually are distributed in the city depending on the faculty. So if you're studying engineering, you have your own building. You don't go all together to the same building. And uh, mainly the teaching aids are the projector, overhead projector as we will see later. Facilities are the normal uh, library, cafeteria, which is the Mensa actually, it offers a good healthy meal for you guys and uh, with good prices for students. If we talk about classes, the language of teaching is German. Uh, this is the overhead projector. It's actually really practical because you can write while you are teaching. So you don't just show it, you're actually writing at the same time, which makes the teaching process actually a lot better. Language of teaching, as we said, uh, as you can see here, Einstein with the, his tank, which is, uh, indicates the German flag. Deutsch war meine Muttersprache. Deutsch was my mother language. It can be your language to try something new. So you guys have to speak German. You just can't sit Speaking English, you have to get into German, so you have to work on your German language. It's very important to come back with a very impressive language skill. So this is the thing that makes us actually different from other people. There are a lot of engineers, a lot of accountants, but language, German language, adds a unique flavor to you guys. I just want to show out, uh, this is 
test that Zeugnis. I got it as soon as I got to Jordan. You guys can do the same if you work on your language. I'm actually teaching German right now. So it's not hard to work on your language. You have a lot of opportunities. You can do it right if you want to do it right. Punctuality. Teachers come on time. So they expect the same of you. They want you to come on time. You don't come for them. You come for yourselves. You are there to learn. So when you go to the university on time, you show a really good image of yourselves. Just be punctual, because that's what they expect from you. So uh, this is a small picture that shows a couple of teachers I've been with uh, in excursion. Actually, teachers there do not show that they are actually nice at the beginning. They want you to show them that you have to work hard. You have to show the hard work. Make effort. They won't just come and help you out. If you show them that you come every day, you show up daily, work hard on your assignments, be there with them on excursions, you will show a good impression and they will actually help you out if you need anything. All you gotta go and go knock on their door, ask them for help. They're really there for you. Fachsprache. Okay, uh, this is the language used in science. We do not learn it at the German Jordanian University as good as we have to, because we don't actually we can't have the opportunity to learn deep, deep Deutsch. We, that, that's really not possible. You have to learn it if you are living there. So, this is a small script showing. Uh, sorry. This shows a little small script of hydrology. Uh, I've done it at the FH Aachen just to have a small idea what the Fachsprache is. When it comes to exam, exams, you only have one shot. You have to pass it. It's not like here we got three exams. You have only one exam out of 100. It's not difficult, but you can do it. You have to concentrate on a lot of things. One of the main things is that you get a lot of past papers on the internet that you can always check out. In addition to studying with Germans, they help you out. You have to register for the exams. Don't you forget this because if you don't register for your exams, you are not allowed to pass your exam. You are not even allowed to, to pass the course. So one main thing to do is that you already have a course, but you have to register for it, for this exam actually. Socialize with Germans. For sure there are language barriers. But as said before, you have to work out with it, you have to show your language. You have even if you are you're not sure that your language is good enough. If you show them that you are trying to speak German, they won't only appreciate it. They will actually help you and it comes sometimes that they teach me every single word and they help me in every word that even every sentence I used to say was wrong but they help me out the same thing could happen to you so uh, Germans love to meet new people from different cultures be open, show them your culture be ready for anything spontaneous if we say okay let's for example in these pictures you can see that We've actually cooked Mlochir, the right picture. There are things that are in common, like we have some music bands. I've used to be in a musical band with them. We've done a Jordanian breakfast at the university, and this picture shows us studying. So you, you have to search for the common things you got with them, so that you can succeed. There are always things in common. So i leave you with 10 tips to remember. Show up daily. Show commitment. Don't forget to take a recommendation letter from each professor. Besides passing your exam, you actually show how good you were. The effort that you've been making can be proven on this paper. The recommendation letter is really helpful. Be positive no matter what. You're gonna go through a lot of, uh, like, okay, the language is really hard, but I warn you guys, do not panic, do not surrender. Just keep working on it. On
the first week you will, you will actually not understand a word. I'm telling you that. It's not because you are wrong. No. Because it's hard. You can't learn the language easily. So you have to be persistent. You have to work on the language. Apply for internship as soon as you arrive. You, you've got actually time? You think so. But it's a matter of luck. You have to keep applying. Even if you get a lot of, a lot of rejections, do your best to keep applying and start early. Don't do like others. The teachers are there always, always there for you, as uh, said before. The learning agreement, you guys are going to register here at the exchange officer, you can talk to them. You already have an idea about the courses you're going to have in Germany, but as soon as you get to the university, you will know that some courses are not available for you guys. So you have to send the new course list as soon as possible to your exchange officer. Your exchange officer has to know all your courses. You can't just surprise him after passing your exams. Just keep contact with them. As said earlier, register for your exams. Be there before the start of university and uh, there is also a language course. You could actually register for it. It's a really, it's a really good option. Have a good influence. Your ambassadors, whether you like it or not, you guys represent not only your country, you represent your university. And this representation won't be easy if the people before you, your ex-colleagues, didn't show a good image. Your work will be harder. So work on it. Have a good impact. And show what you really are. As Benjamin Franklin said, failure to prepare is preparing to fail. So prepare yourself for the takeoff of the most exciting year in your study. I'd like to point out that uh, German Jordanian University had uh, actually a lot of contacts with airlines like the Jordanian Airlines. They would find you good offers. And the Lufthansa is a good option too. Special thanks to, I'd like to thank the German Jordanian University for giving us the chance to explore uh, Germany, the dad for supporting us twice, once uh, the f uh, course and once this year actually, and the international office, Ms. Britta Kaler, and the office for industrial links, Ms. Britt Lehmann for her continuous contact with us from the HS Magdeburg, thank you very much and have fun. Thank you, Musa, for these intense words about um, 